Hello friends and welcome to my channel. This video is about the 2020 Formula 1 tires. 2020 Formula 1 is going to commence on July 3rd of 2020. For the 2020 Formula 1 season, Pirelli will present a new range of tires. The offering has been slimmed down to just 5 slick combos and 3 colors per price and white will be the most hardest tear as you can see here. As usual, yellow will be the medium tear in the 3 colors. And red in these three colors represent the soft tear. Each combo on this year will be assigned a numeric code rather than the permanent color assignment. The new range will be numbered from C1 to C5, with C1 being most hardest and C5, which is the most soft one in this category. These new tears have been designed to increase resistance to overheating and provide greater consistency over the course of a stint. The range also includes a revised wet and intermediate tear choices. So, first we will have a closer look at the slick tears we have in 2020. First, the C1. C1 stands for Combo 1 and it's the hardest tear in the 2020 period range. Sitting just below the 2019 hard in terms of compounding, it's designed for circuit that puts the highest energy loading through the tears which will be typically faced and so the C1 tear have the most higher lifespan compared to all other compounds so now we will check the C2 C2 means compound 2 effectively last year's medium tear and versatile compound but sitting at the harder part of the spectrum it comes into its own on circuits that tend towards high speeds, temperature and energy loadings. This tear has demonstrated an ample working range and adaptability to a wide variety of different circuits because we are uh, we have the hard as well as the medium combo in the combo 2 tears. Here you can see the white which is hard and yellow which is the medium tear. So it is very suitable for wide variety of circuit where we are having noise. So the C3 which is the compound 3 tear. The tear is equivalent to the soft that was nominated in all but 4 of races last year. It strikes a very good balance between the performance and durability. With the accent on performance, it's a very adaptable tear that can be used as a softest compound at a high severity track as well as the hardest compound at a low severity track or straight circuit. Here you can see we have the hard which is a white tear and the yellow which is a medium tear and red which is a soft tear. So by choosing the compound 3 we have wide variety of flexibility for choosing. So we can choose hard as well as the most soft tear for uh, compromise between lifespan and performance or speed. If we are choosing the more lifespan, we can choose the white tear, or we are choosing better speed than life, we can choose the soft tear. So now we are going for the C4, which is the compound 4 tear. This is closest to the 2019 Ultra Soft and it works well on tight and twisty circuits. It has a rapid warm up and huge peak performance but the other side of this is its relatively limited overall life. So here the speed matters rather than the lifespan of the tear. So it is considered as the ultra soft. C5 the most fastest tear in this slick category. The softest 2020 compound is the hair to the universally popular hyper soft, the fastest compound that Pirelli has ever made. This tear is suitable for all circuits that demand high levels of mechanical grip but the trade-off for this extra speed and addition is a considerably shorter lifespan uh, than the other tears in this range. Getting the most out of it will be a key to race strategy. So, here we have the intermediate green tear are the most versatile of the rain tears. They can be used on the wet track with no standing water as well as drying surfaces. This tear evacuates 30 liters of water per second per tear at 300 km per hour. There is a new compound 
that is designed to expand the walking range, guaranteeing a proper close crossover both with the slings and, and the full weights. So, uh, the green intermediate tail is very much suitable for normal rain, not for a heavy rain. So, for the heavy rain, we have the most wet tail which is suitable. The full wet tails are the most effective solution for heavy rain. These tails can evacuate 85 liters of water per second per tear at 300 km per hour. There is a new profile designed to increase resistance to aqua planning, which will give the tail more grip or huge grip in heavy rain. The diameter of the full wet tail is 10 mm wider than the slick tail, which is 1 cm. So the full wet tail is the most effective solution for heavy rains as it reduces the aqua planning effect as well as it provides the better grip in the most difficult situation with huge rain on track. So now you have the better idea about 2020 tail regulation for Formula 1. Don't forget to give a like and don't miss the updated videos. So you need to subscribe to this channel for never miss an updated video. So, Bye and see you in the next video. Goodbye.